Now, unless your internet has been disconnected by the Russians, then you will have seen videos on YouTube and TikTok of fat people being absolutely retarded. You order a McDonald's with about five sides, the only healthy food you eat comes from five guys. Getting even fatter, and I think that implies that your belly twerks like Kim K in disguise. However, what I saw today is so incredibly stupid that it makes Topper Guild's shorts look like the most intellectual thing in the world. So recently, I saw this video on r slash cringetopia with a caption, you can take fat studies class in Massey University. Now, you may be thinking to yourself right now, there's no such thing as a fat studies class, this has to be fake. Well, let's watch the video. Our Fatlicious keynotes, Esther Rothblum and Sonia Renee Taylor, have given us amazing talks about fat histories, our fat present, and what our fat futures might hold. You are not hallucinating right now. This is an actual lecture. What do they even study about fat people? Why no one likes them? Because I'm pretty sure the answer is obvious. Can you imagine going to your favorite university, the one which you worked so hard to get into, and you see that they are doing a lecture about fat studies? I would honestly drop out in an instant. How does fat blackness embody the future? I am an artist, I'm an activist. I'm a serious macaroni and cheese maker. I'm black, I'm queer, I'm fat, I'm neurodivergent and upwardly class mobile. Serious macaroni and cheese maker. Well, here's my advice for you. Get some vegetables on your fucking plate. Quote, I'm a fat water jogger myself and every time I go to the swimming pool, I can see what people are thinking about my appearance. Well, I'm not surprised that everyone is laughing at your appearance because you literally look like that bitch from Monsters, Inc. You're still playing Fortnite, Mike was Zowski. No wonder your dad left when you were five. And fatness is always trying to be contained, is always, you know, the world is always trying to contain fatness, the world is always trying to wrangle fatness. You need to see fat bodies take up space and allow them to move the way fat, people, fat bodies move. And I've called for a new fat ethics acknowledging the role science has played in the oppression of fat people. What oppression are you talking about? Preventing you from dying from heart failure? I honestly don't understand what's with these fat idiots saying that everyone wants to oppress them even though they are the problem. Being fat is not something to be proud of, it's something that can cause you a lot of damage. This is a list of some health conditions caused by being fat. Do you seriously want any of those? Now you can have your own opinions about being fat, but you should not force your opinion onto us by by making these dumbass lectures. White men, now small white men, who in many ways have been the early scholars in this area. Interesting to see um, small white men studying large women mostly. So what you're looking at on the left hand is Sarge D. Bartman, also known as the Hot and Hot Venus. Um, she was a uh, coastal woman um, from Africa and sold to circuses. And by the time you get to Kim Kardashian in 2014, um, that is the aesthetic. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. What I find fascinating and um, think is represented in this quote right here um, is the collapsing of fatness and blackness. When fatness merges with blackness, it stops trying to sub it stops trying to um, put the put the fat body under control and it moves very quickly to must be annihilated. Honestly, if I was at this lecture, I would literally pull out a gun and chew myself in the mouth because that's how boring this shit is. Now, I did some research and apparently this is not the only time that this university has done something like this. If you search fat studies on the website of the university, you get quite a lot of results. Resisting fat phobia in the time of COVID-19. A research paper co-written by a Massey academic takes a critical look at a public health narrative she says links fatness to risk factors for COVID-19 despite little evidence for this. The authors say the paper is the first of its kind to analyze the problemization of fatness in COVID-19. The paper states that linking fatness to COVID-19 risk in a pandemic has diverted responsibility for preparedness and well-being away from health systems and governments and onto the back of fat people and communities. Well, that just sounds like a load of bullshit. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching and for all of your support. Remember to subscribe like, comment, turn notifications on. Please comment because it really helps me out in the algorithm. Also, join my new Discord server. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.
Let's go.